So it's getting into autumn and winter time here in the UK and obviously that leads to colder weather and uh, people wanting to switch on their central heating, which is what I tried to do the other day and found that the radiators weren't working correctly. Uh, on inspection, seems to be a problem with this thing, which is um, basically it's a, a multi-position valve that allows the water uh, coming up from the boiler to either heat the water that comes out the taps or powers the radiators. And unfortunately, looks like this thing has stopped working. So we're gonna have a take a look and see how we can fix it. So this particular model is a by a brand called Drayton and the model number is an MA1 and it's described as a mid position actuator. So basically what I think is inside here is a little motor that is controlled by the um, timer circuitry that basically opens and closes the valve which is inside of here. Now that the good thing about this uh, valve is like a modular system and uh, what you can do by pressing this button on here is actually remove the whole thing. So you push the button down and lift it and it should pop off revealing uh, what's underneath. So here's the actual valve itself. So basically when the motor inside here turns, uh, you can see it's kind of keyed, uh, it turns this valve uh, pretty much uh, into different positions, open and closed. Uh, but in, in my case, this one here just appears to have stopped working at all. Now you can manually uh, push the valve open and closed by this. It seems to be this kind of sprung loaded mechanism. And yeah, it's just not doing it by itself. So I'm going to have a look in here. Uh, but I think these things are quite expensive. They normally run into about 60, 70 pounds here in the UK. So we're going to see if we can uh, try and fix it. So yeah, let's uh, open it up and have a look. So I've popped the cover off this. Obviously, um, I've cut the power to the whole central heating system because uh, I think there is live uh, mains going into here. So obviously you don't want to uh, be opening this up when there's still power running through it. And you can pretty much see here that it's uh, a motor on top with some control circuitry here, a few switches for controlling the motor on and off. And it's basically um, driving this uh, thing at the bottom to switch the valve on and off. Now having a look at this, it looks like the motor's packed up. And the good thing is, is that you don't necessarily have to buy a whole new unit. There is a cheaper alternative. If you go to places like Screwfix uh, here in the UK, you can actually buy a replacement motor, which I have here. So yeah, it's by the same company. Um, and I've pretty much checked, it should just be a straight swap. So yeah, we're gonna pop that in and uh, see if that fixes the problem. So we've got the new motor fitted now, uh, pretty much a straight swap. The only thing you have to make sure is, is that the teeth on the motor, which you can see on the old one, engage properly with the swing arm. Um, that's basically, uh, you can try it by pulling this thing uh, across to make sure that works. Uh, also when uh, connecting the, the motor to the circuit board, just be a bit careful because there is like clips um, it's hard to see, but there are clips basically holding it onto the pins. So don't just rip them off. You have to use some pliers and grip them on the ends to release it. And yeah, be careful because these pins uh, on the circuit board do look a bit fragile. So yeah, it's all back together. So yeah, it's going to uh, put the cover back on and uh, test it out to see if it's working. So with the cover back on and uh, power restored, we can now test the unit. Uh, the hot water is currently on. So now uh, I'm going to manually switch on the central heating to see if anything happens. So we press the button. And here you can see that the arm on that side is swinging, um, which basically means it's controlling the valve. So yeah, changing the motor seems to have uh, fixed the problem. So if I switch it off, then you should see that coming back again. So fantastic. Yeah, hopefully We'll have um, warm radiators now for winter. Thanks for watching.